So, the World Soccer Cup has started and today I'm going to show you how to do one of the most popular dishes in Portugal that Portuguese people eat while watching the games. This dish is sponsored by Tabasco, which is going to help us give an extra kick. Get it? Kick? <laughs> to our dish. So, come on, let's cook! Portugal! 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 Now, let's start with our meat. The important thing here is that your steaks need to be leaner, okay? The meat should be lean, they shouldn't have fat and they shouldn't have connective tissue. Slice them into small pieces. And season it with salt and pepper. Now, let's take some cloves of garlic. And, well, this is going to depend on you. If you like garlic, use some more. If you like, if you don't like it so much, well, use less. Slice it. And yes, the garlic should be sliced, not crushed, okay? It should be sliced. It's very important because it's going to make difference on the sauce. Open a can of pickles and slice them into small pieces. Okay, now that we have our ingredients ready, heat a little bit of olive oil in a pan. And yes, it should be Portuguese olive oil, it's very important. Add your meat and let it caramelize in all sides. For this, it's very important that your pan is very, very hot and it shouldn't be a non-stick pan. You should use an iron cast pan or something similar because you want the, the meat to grab a little bit on the bottom of the pan because that's what's going to give it a little bit of an extra flavor when you are going to do the sauce. Now, don't let the meat cook completely. You should just sear the meat, okay? You are going to finish the cooking over the sauce. This is just to get it a little bit brown. Add your garlic to the pan, the butter, and let it cook for a while. And remember, it's very important that you don't burn the garlic, okay? Because burned garlic, it's, well, it's not good. And when you see the garlic getting softer, add two or three bay leaves, a little bit of mustard, and, well, this is up to you. If you use more or less, it depends on your taste. Mix it well. Add the wine, and yes, it should be, again, Portuguese wine. <laughs> it makes a lot of difference. Portuguese wine is one of the best in the world and is a great value for money. Let it cook a bit. Add your meat to finish cooking. And for an extra kick, you can use a little bit of hot sauce. In this case, I'm going to use Tabasco, which is my sponsor for this video. So, thank you, Tabasco, for this recipe. And when the meat is done cooking, add your pickles, mix it all together, take a plate or a bowl, pour your meat, and don't forget the sauce, the sauce is the hero on this recipe. Open a bottle of beer, because soccer games and pica-pau without beer doesn't make any sense. And yes, this recipe is called pica-pau, which is something like woodpecker in English. Don't ask me why, I really don't know. Don't forget the bread. The bread is very important. And here it is, the most popular Portuguese dish for watching a soccer game. Mm.